Dancers, it's Lady Grave Dancer. Um, excuse the background, I'm still at work because we are doing our class tonight on candle magic. And because I live over an hour away from here, instead of going home, when we close at five, I just set up the space, cleanse the area, and just wait for the people to get here, you know, set up whatever snacks and things like that and get things done. I'm gonna be stapling some papers here. Um, just getting the getting stuff ready. But I thought while we're sitting here, since not the next class, but the class after that, we're gonna be going over besoms. And I thought this would be a really good time to make a video. I didn't realize I made that in color. Okay. So a lot of times you just hear of people, excuse me. That's my actress's cup. Isn't it cute? And it has the pea soup. Um, a lot of people, they, you know, they hang it above their door for protections. And that's great because, you know, it works. <laughs> it's been a long time since I've done a video, guys. So I'm, I'm probably going to be like, um, 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 I feel very awkward. And I'll probably be embarrassed if somebody walked in and saw me talking to the camera. I'm going to act like I'm on FaceTime with somebody that looks like me. <laughs> but um, besoms can be used in so many different ways. For example, at my house, I have elemental be besoms in the house because I work with the elements. And even though, yes, outside in the ground, I have corresponding crystals in all my corners where I can call up the energy, but I also have besoms in the house that represent also the elements. So, for example, and you know what? At the end of this video, I'll be home when I go home and I'll show y'all a couple of different sizes because you can buy little itty bitty tiny bezels like this you can make your own i used to make feather bezels um you can buy them in all different sizes they come in itty bitty ones this size this size this size and so on and you can use any of them i use the itty bitty ones to do my elemental um bezels in the house so that i have this as another way of being able to pull the energy in when i need to pull it from the elements for example i have seashells stuck into and you can hang them and i'm going all over the place see it's been too long since i made a video i don't know what i'm doing you can get fancy i'm not very crafty you can get crafty and you can get some twine or thread or whatever you want to do and hang your stuff from your bezel and it'll look all pretty and hanging down and look all amazing i tend to shove stuff into the bezel and then put it up because it's, I'm just not crafting and it works just fine. So in my water, I have seashells stuck into them. And you can put anything to you that corresponds with water in there. I've even seen people hang a water, a little bitty Ziploc baggie, showing you graveyard dirt, <laughs> a little bitty Ziploc baggie of water from their bezel. Whatever works with you for that element, you could put in there. And earth, my earth one, I have rosemary hanging from it because that just works for me. You could put anything in it that represents earth to you. And it, the besom itself, you don't even have to add to it. You can also add oils. Like if you want to add rosemary, but you don't have rosemary, but you have rosemary essential oil, you can add the essential oil to your besom. Just, you know, like anoint it. Oh, also in my besom, I have itty bitty tiny 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 little bottles that i had got oh my god years and years ago on ebay little bitty tiny ones with corks on it and i also have a little bottle of dirt that is stuck in my besom it's a little bitty tiny just in there you know and if i didn't tell you you wouldn't know that stuff was in there and i guess if you look closely some of the stuff you can see but for the most part you can't see a lot of them so for air you can add anything to it you can add feathers if you want to put feathers in air you can add anything i and this is just me doesn't it doesn't make sense to a lot of people but i like to add a strong oil that carries so when i walk by it or the air conditioner turns on it carries it off of it and for me that represents air a lot of times i'll use incense for air so having that smell whiffed off of it is air for me but you can anything that works for you is what you need to put in it okay a lot of people will use feathers I think that's kind of the, the basic what you would use for air. And it's great. It's not a problem. I have before too, but currently I'm using a very strong smelling oil. So let's get into the other magics that you can do with besoms. Because you burning a besom 
that you're using in magic. It's almost like a doll baby kind of situation that you can use. You can use it for love. You can paint it to be the color you want. You can add, and, and I'm going over basics what people use for love. Um, rose scented oil, add roses to it, uh, rose quartz into it. You can wrap it, you know, do some twine magic with it to do love magic with it. And you could, and I keep doing like this because you can get the little ones like online for super cheap. You can make your own, literally walk outside and, and have some twine, get a stick and get some other grass or anything that you could find and make your own bezel. It's super cheap, easy magic. You know what I mean? So, and it, it's very accessible to anybody, but I like to buy the little bitty ones because they, they already smell good and I just think they're cute. But when I'm out and about and I need one, I have no hesitation to stop and make one. It's not a problem. I always have twine in my car because of my witch's bag and it's always in my car at any time. But you can use it in love magic, you can use it in money magic, and again, you could do what corresponds to you, and I'm just going with what most people, the basic of what most people do. And you can do with green twine, you can paint it green, you can add actual money to it, and you, there's so much that you can do with the bezels that it's not just protections. Of course, it's really good for protection, don't get me wrong, and that's what the majority of what people do. Um, you can also hang it up and have selenite dangling off of it, hang it above your door, have selenites hanging off of it, or have it stuck in, like lazy me, and have it stuck into your larger besoms. And that way when people walk in, it repels the negativity. It's almost like a filter for people who come in and out of your house. And I wanted to put one here in the office and my boss was like, that's a bit much. Now, you will see during Christmas time and stuff, I will have a besom up because it's kind of the season and he, he doesn't have a big deal about that. He doesn't mind the little things that I hide and stuff, but the stuff that's like boom in your face, he's like, nah, you can't do that, but that's fine. We do other things to make sure that the office stays, you know, good. So let's go over some other things. I think I already did like to cleansing in the door, money, love, which is the basic of what people do. Um, oh, if you have a rebellious, rebellious <laughs> child, y'all have missed how I talk, haven't you? <laughs> um, you can also use a besom and a sweetening spell. It's something that you can put under the pillow, hang under their bed, hang above their bed on the wall, and you can add sweetener to it. I know you might be, like in me in the country, I wouldn't be able to put s sweetener directly on the besom because it, it's Texas and we tend to have ants. It happens like, and then I know, I'm sorry, I have something in my eye. And I know if I hung a bezel with some molasses strong on it, I would have an ant problem from hell. But you can add other sweeteners to it. You can add little vials of sugar to it, little vials of honey to it, whatever you want to sweeten that up with. If you want to also do some twine magic, add their picture to it and twine it up with something that resonates. It doesn't have to be this, it can be just about anything. And you can wrap it, you know, and as you're doing it, the um, intent is there, not energy. You can do the not magic to it. Um, let's see. I had all this on my mind for like the last month that I wanted to go over this with everybody when I had redone mine. And I'm like, I wanna make a video on this and now I'm trying to sit here and think about it. So I think I'm going to just stop right here and then I'm gonna kind of show you the different sizes of the bezels when I get home so I can edit this video and put it up. But I just want you to keep an open mind of other things that you can use and, and do with bezels that um, I haven't really heard talked about and it probably is in there. I've been so disconnected from social media that who knows what videos are up. This is just my take on it, things that I've done with it. So I just kind of wanted to share that with you guys. And again, like if you're doing something like a breakup magic or anything like that and you want to burn them, I'm going to tell you they're that intense, intense. If you want to get rid of a coworker at work, if you, you know, there's so much that you can do with the besom. It's kind of like the starting block for a lot of things you can add to it. And it's, I mean, it's, we're witches. We like our brooms. It just is what it is. You know, I like to stand brooms up. I'll even stand them up here in the office to cleanse the energy in here. I just, I, I'm a broom girl. I really am. So, all right, I'm going to end this video. Well, I'm going to end the talking part here. And then I'll show you a couple of the different besoms that we have 
that you can use and that I have at home and that, that sort of thing. And um, yeah, I think that's it. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you guys at the next video, which I thought I was gonna do on ancestor, ancestor altars, but I think I already did one. But I, I have over 600 videos. I don't remember what I've done, so I'm gonna have to look. So it's either gonna be on ancestor altars or um, I'm gonna make some more of my pain salve and I wanna do that. So I have some ideas of some videos that I wanna do. But yeah, stay tuned right now and I'll show you the other types of besoms that you can use. Okay, I'll start here where there's things stuck inside. You know, regular size. It's probably about a one and a half foot bezel. Over here, these are bigger, used for different purposes and they have stuff inside of them and oils. These have not been used yet, but I will be making a besom of peacock feathers for vision, divination, that sort of stuff. Um, over here is Hecate. Hey girl, hey. <laughs> and this one I made for her many, many years ago. And I use it whenever I'm cleansing her space. The smoke gets into the feathers and that's a cinnamon stick. And when it gets in the feathers and it just helps me move it around. That's my girl. Okay, and then we have these little guys, which I'm gonna be use them in our class that we're gonna be doing. So aren't they just the most cutest things? And I can't, I think they might be in my office, but I have some medium sized ones too. They must be at the office. And I, bless you. And I actually got them, um, at Home Depot at the register for 99 cents and I have bought a whole bunch of those for our class as well. Why are you crying? What's the matter? What's the matter? Excuse me. Yeah. Okay. Bye. See you. <laughs> but you know, this is the point that I was trying to make. You can use just about anything to make a bezel and it doesn't have to be a big old to-do.